Hello my lovely YouTube friends. Thank you so much for coming back to visit me and my babies. The usual Pippa and John T, as you can see, as always. So it is afternoon here, quite late in the afternoon for a winter's day, it's Sunday, and it's about four o'clock. So I'm just catching the last of the light, the good light really. We're in my bedroom again next to the window, which seems to be the best solution for this kind of weather. It's um, it's a little bit windy and a little bit grey and a little bit sunny. So a touch of everything today, but I wanted to come and show you these beautiful outfits that my babies are wearing. Because these outfits were sent to us, not to me, but to the three of us, Pippa, Jonty and me, by Sue Drinkwater. They're just beautiful, aren't they? They're little crossover tops with little matching pants. And the pants have the leg holes sort of at the front instead of, how else would it be? Instead of a bit at the front and a bit at the back. So the leg holes completely come from the front of the little pants. And they look so cute. So let me tell you about them. Oh no, first I'll tell you that Sue sent me a box. I think it was, oh, I can't remember how many days ago, a few days ago, with some lovely, these lovely sets in them. And these sets came in boxes which is always exciting when you get a baby outfit in a box. It's so beautifully presented. Let me tell you the brand as well before I forget that. I'll just show you the tag. It's a brand I don't know. I'll show you the tag. Here it is. It's called Yahtzee Baby. And this, the size they're wearing is a zero. It seems to be... Yeah, it comes from Barcelona in Spain. So it's their Spanish little... Like underwear sets almost, or... Um, something like, you know, comfy, comfy clothes. Not not your fussy um, Spanish outfits. Not No bows, no lace, no nothing like that. Just these gorgeous little cotton two-piece sets. So Sue sent those to me just, for a, just because she's lovely, no other reason. And she also sent me a harness, a baby harness, to, to put on my baby whenever she gets finished. Um, when she sits up in the pram. So I'm very excited to put that on her, but as you all know, she's still really just a, a twinkle in my eye. She's not more than that at the moment. And Sue has the same harness for her violet, and it fits her perfectly, so I can't wait to use the harness on the new baby whenever she gets created. So anyway, that came in the box as well, and some more plastic bags for me, and some soap, which is beautiful. I'm already using that in the bathroom. So let's get back to these little outfits. Pippa's is a pink with tiny, tiny, weeny grey spots on it. So it's a, a side snap top with long sleeves and little, the little bloomers. I don't know if you'd call them bloomers or nappy covers. And with the little leg holes right at the front. Um, and Jaunty's is the same in a pale blue, but his spots are tiny little white dots. And the reason I've waited till now to put put these outfits on them is because I had ordered um, Pippa's bonnet from a maker it, on Etsy. I think she was in, in Australia, this one, um, and it it only just arrived. So, well, it didn't arrive today, but today's the first chance I've had to do it. It arrived on Friday, but today's the first chance I've had to make a video. And Jonty's, I think you've probably seen Jonty's blue bonnet with his little bear ears before. I think I've had that on him before. But Pippa didn't have a pink one. So now <laughs> they've got their traditional blue and pink bear bonnets on. And I think they look stunning, don't they? And they've each got their jelly cats. The jelly cat that, that um, Jonty has was from um, Suzanne of Suzanne's Babies. And the little one that Pippa's holding, her name is Blossom, and she came from Soon Drinkwater again, so drink water, a while ago. So um, they've both got things from two very important aunties of theirs, Suzanne and Sue. So I hope you like seeing them. I, um, I'm sorry, I feel a bit scattered. I don't, it's not you guys and it's not the babies, it's just me. I've been feeling a bit strange lately about YouTube. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be taking too much time and too much thought, not the video so much, but just watching videos, commenting on videos, and then a little bit of time making videos. So, I don't know, it's just, that's what I kind of tried to allude to two videos ago, and I think some of you 
got a little bit irritated with me and thought that I was fishing for compliments when I said, if I wasn't on YouTube, you wouldn't miss me. And I really wasn't fishing for compliments. All I meant was that it's like, it's almost like an artificial world. And I don't know why it takes up so much of my, I don't know what to say, so much of my, myself. When it's only a tiny, weeny drop in the ocean compared to the rest of my life. YouTube is what, 5% or something, if that. So I'm really not sure why I'm feeling a bit odd. I did watch um, Mia's latest video from Mia's Dolls and Fun, and she talked about um, <laughs> the sickness around YouTube, that it, it does get to you sometimes, and how to, how to get over it and what you should do. And, and I don't know if that's what I'm feeling, but I am feeling discombobulated for some reason. I can't quite work out what's happening. But I think in the meantime I'll just keep doing what I do. I'll keep making videos and hopefully soon I'll have some work in progress shots to show you. Maybe within the next week that's what I plan to show you what I'm working on at the moment. A very sweet baby. I've done the head but I now have to detail the arms and legs. So that will be for tomorrow. And tomorrow everybody is Monday. And that means I'm going to the supermarket and I'm not going to do a big shop. I'm just going to do a top-up shop. So that's my challenge for tomorrow. It's a weeny bit more challenging because I am meeting a friend as well. So I'm going to do both things. And then I hope to come home and do painting. So I'm meeting another girlfriend who I haven't mentioned to you before. Her, her name is Vicky. And I've known her ever since my youngest son, who is now 32, ever since he was three so well that's 29 years isn't it so that's quite a long time too she has a son a tiny bit older than my young one so um we have known each other and played together for a long long time she's good fun so we're getting together tomorrow around my shopping i'll do my shopping before or after we'll see but i'll come back to you in my next video and report success that i've done a successful small shop that is my plan anyway, and I'm going to do it. I am definitely going to do it. So for now, I think I might say goodbye to you all, and I hope I haven't sounded too all over the place. And thank you so much for coming, and thank you, Sue Drinkwater. Thank you so much. If you haven't had a look at her channel, have a look. It's fabulous. She's got a gorgeous chicken and a gorgeous dog and gorgeous babies, and she's always got something interesting to say. So go across and have a look at Sue Drinkwater if you haven't yet. I'm sure you probably have anyway because, you know, she, she's, um, she's, she's really good fun to watch. So everybody, as usual, take care and be kind to each other and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.